That was pretty cool, wasn't it? You know, marketers like us have depended on autoplay videos to immediately grab and hold the attention of people who visit our pages. But now the Chrome browser has smacked us down and our videos just sit there. What I showed you though grabbed your attention, didn't it? And it made you click. You can grab your visitors' attention like that and slap back at the autoplay ban with Simple Video Management System 2018. It's the latest version of David Perdue's long-running successful plugin. Over 2,200 satisfied users have proven this to be a winner, and you can join them for a special deal if you act quickly. Now, what I showed you there is just one of the many powerful business building and time-saving benefits you'll get from Simple Video Management System. Let's jump behind the scenes with Jen Perdue. She'll show you more. Hey, this is Jen, and I'm the Director of Operations for NAMS Toolkit and MyNAMS.com. And I'm going to show you a really quick overview of the inside of Simple Video Management System. We love this tool. We've been using it to run our own business for over five years with thousands of videos in the back end. And we're constantly upgrading this plugin to add new functionality and new features and today we've got an updated version with some really crucial new benefits for you. So when we created this plugin, we wanted to make our lives easier and we wanted to make more money with our videos. And I know it's going to do the same for you. So first, I just want to show you this is the back end of one of our main sites. And as you can see, this particular site, we've got over 2200 videos in um, that we're managing here in Simple Video Management System. So first, one of my favorite, favorite features of this plugin is magic buy buttons. So we wanted to have buy buttons or special call to actions that can drop below our videos at the exact right time. Super easy to use. And in the WordPress editor, you can design your call to action. And it's not just really about buy buttons. It's about adding opt-in boxes for your email list. Really, you can put any kind of HTML you want to pop up at the exact time that you specify. So let me show you an example of that really quick. I've pulled some, a few videos up so that I can show you exactly how it works in the back end. So first, this is a real example of a promotion that we actually currently have been running. And here is the video that we're using. Now first, you're gonna see, see the click to unmute. So now that Chrome and other browsers are blocking autoplay videos, being able to add a, a GIF animation, a text overlay to get your viewer's attention to click to unmute the video is really, really important. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. I've got my video, my volume turned off so you don't have to listen to it. But let's go ahead and scroll over so I can show you what the drop down looks like when we have added our buy button. So there it is. We have it set up to drop down here about four minutes into the video. And you can see we've got our copy here. We've got our continue button. You could use a buy button or continue. We're using continue for this particular promotion. And when we click on that, it's going to go ahead and take us right over to the actual sales page. This is perfect for affiliate marketers because you can actually do your uh, reviews, your product reviews on a bridge page helps you to get higher conversions. And what we're doing here is we're, we've got two different setups in the back end of the player. First, we have created some HTML here at the very bottom. You can see we're um, displaying this continue button, 240 seconds in the video, exactly when we wanna send people over to the sales page. But the other thing that's really cool here is once the video ends, we can actually automatically redirect the video directly over to the sales page as well. So that's gonna help for better conversions, better sales, and this has just been a tactic that for us has been amazing, helping us to get on leaderboards and do a much better job with our affiliate marketing. So the other thing that's really pretty cool about this is if you've got any kind of video that you would like to capture your viewer's email address on, well, with SVMS, you can do that. We actually have an opt-in gate functionality set up, and it is just right here. So we can actually enable the opt-in gate. 
So there's a few ways that you can do this. But what's awesome is you can let a small portion of your video play and you can select a time to show your opt-in gate or your, your opt-in form. That way you get people watching your video. Then the next step is if you want to see more, go ahead and submit your um, name and email address and it will automatically open up and unlock the remainder of video so that people can continue to watch it through. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can actually just take your form code right here and you can paste it right in to the text editor. We use a, a WordPress editor here in the back end of the entire software. If you have got a um, autoresponder or a CRM that allows for tagging, you can actually do a deep integration and you can enable tagging. Select your tagging enabled and select the, P the CRM you're using. We use Infusionsoft, but we do um, integration with over 15 of the top autoresponders and CRMs. Actually, we'll show you that right here. You can see I've already got Infusionsoft set up, but these are all of the CRM integrations that we currently have in place. So this is awesome. So the other thing that's really, really um, important is knowing how your videos are actually performing because you wanna get the best conversions out of those videos, right? So we've got very detailed analytics set up. I'll show you really quick. Um, we can do a sort here. I'm gonna go back to the video we were just looking at. And that was this one right here. And I'm gonna show you, here's the video analytics section. And we can see by clicking on the analytics, we can see how many times we've got total number of plays, how many people have completed, what our average drop off is. And it breaks this down for us by what devices people are watching on, um, where the traffic is coming from, and gives us the number of people that are dropping off at specific times. We can actually see if we scroll down to the bottom here. It's showing us there's our 352 people that watched all the way um, to the end. So these really do help you to get rid of the duds and replace your videos with the highest converting videos for you so that you can really optimize your site and your videos for better conversions and better sales. This player appearance is truly responsive. So you can change your video size, you can create a custom size, create it um, any kind of video width or height that you want, center it, you can align it. You can actually allow your people to download your videos if you would like. The best part about this is it makes your videos truly responsive. Have you ever gone to a page and the video's like hanging off the side of the page because it's not responsive with um, mobile? Well, this is automatically adjusts all of your videos so that they are mobile responsive. And once you create your video up here in your, um, in your WordPress, you can actually use the same video and go drop it on a third party app like ClickFunnels, Shopify, Lead Pages. So it really allows you to use your videos in multiple places that you're using to market your business, not just in a WordPress installation. But if you wanted to create a video skin, you could do that here. Uh, we've got, I'm, uh, you can do an iPad or a Mac, and we're actually always adding different features and functionality here. So you'll, um, you'll see new video skins coming soon. You can also create video grids and <clears throat> you can create playlists. So, I actually have a sample of a video grid I wanted to show you. This is inside our members training area. So this allows us, we do a weekly call. So this allows us to put our, um, our video in and we do a little bit of an overview on what we talked about. And as you can see, when we click on this, this is called Lightbox functionality and it allows your video to pop out just like this and show in a light box. And we'll go ahead and mute this. And we, your viewer can actually do full screen here or they can leave it here on their screen just as this size so that they are really paying attention and focusing on the video itself, not scrolling around and clicking on other things on your site. So one of the things that we just love is being able to change these um, different settings, change the different player settings so that you can just do it with a click of a mouse. There's no coding required. So I can actually do autoplay. I can hide the controls if I'm doing a sales video. Don't want people to move forward. We want them to watch the whole thing. We can actually hide the controls. 
We can also loop the video to just go over and over and over again and restart. We can have the video stop if somebody scrolls off the page. We can show captions. So that's pretty awesome setup here inside the player settings. So the other thing that's pretty cool about these is that, you know, we can use, you can use YouTube as your video source, Vimeo, um, an MP4, uh, MOV file, OGG file. So you've got lots of different options here for using your video sources. But one of the great things is being able to brand all of your videos, especially when you're doing trainings and tutorials. You want to have, um, you know, a front splash image that really brands your, your business and then an in splash that has a really powerful call to action. So I wanted to show you one of these. I've actually got it pulled up already. So we've got some training and tutorial series that we do. You can see we've actually loaded this on our Amazon S3 and we have got the video code here. Plus we have got a splash image set up here. So we can go right here. This is also a really awesome function. Um, you know exactly what pages your tutorials are set up on so that there's no searching. You can go right to it. So I'll just open this in a new tab. And you can see that we have created a training series on cloud storage. And so each one of these is set up in a grid so that it's got a um, kind of like a playlist set up for each one of these different options that we can use, um, Dropbox, Google Drive, iCloud. But you can see we have changed out the splash image on each of these images so that people know exactly what the content is that we're going to be talking about in each of these videos. So when I click on play, it's actually going to bring it right up in a light box. So those are really nice to be able to change out your, your thumbnails or your splash images on the front and the back of any of your video. Really helps from um, a user perspective for you to be able to brand all of your content so that people really get to know you. So one of the things, and I just, I just touched on this uh, briefly a minute ago, but really being able to, you can see that we've got this video, we're using this video on two different pages right now. So when we make any changes to this video itself in the player, those changes are going to be um, globally recognized. So I don't have to actually go click on each one of these individual pages and edit any of my content. It's all edited here in the player and it's saved on these pages. So that makes it really, really fast and efficient to make any kinds of changes that you need to your video. So this is really just a very, very small fraction of what Simple Video Management System can do for your business. If I sat here and told you everything and went over every single thing it could do, we'd be here all day long. But these really are my favorite features that I use on a daily basis to make running our business simple, more efficient, and best of all, it helps us to make more sales. And I know it can do the same for you.